Screen Woodworking. I'm Dave. And I'm Jenny. And today we are gonna make a display case for a teddy bear. So we had a client reach out to us and she wanted us to build a display case for this teddy bear. So a little bit of backstory. Her husband had this teddy bear given to him by his grandfather and his grandfather passed away. And so what she wanted to do was surprise him for his birthday and have this really nice ornate display case that would really showcase the teddy bear as well as a poem that he wrote. So that's what we're gonna build today. I've never built a display case like this before, but I'm excited, I'm confident we can knock it out of the park. So thanks for joining us. You're gonna learn along with us how to build a display case and we're gonna do the best we can. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on making the top, the lid, and the bottom base. Originally I was gonna build this out of solid cherry, but because of expansion and contraction issues, we'll get to that in a minute, I'm gonna use some cherry plywood. I was fortunate enough to find some at my home center. I didn't think there would be cherry plywood anywhere in the town that we're in, but there was a tiny little corner at the bottom of one aisle where it was just kind of shoved off to the side and they're like, oh, hey, here's some quarter inch cherry plywood if you need it. So I'm gonna get a big sheet of that. We're gonna cut out uh, six of these little squares and that'll be the first thing that we do. I should do a better job organizing. take this extra board and put it under the plywood like this. It's gonna keep this back end supported. That way when the front end falls off, the whole thing won't tilt over and crack a whole bunch of the veneer. So I'm realizing now what I should have done was I should have not cut these to 16 by 16. I should have left them like 16 and a half by 16 and a half and then gone through and cut them down to their final size um, once they've already been glued up. Because now if I don't get the edges perfectly straight, what's going to happen is the trim that we put on the outside is not going to look perfectly flush. There's going to be tiny little gaps all over the place. So. It's too late to do anything now. Just gotta be extra careful during the glue up. Make sure that they're not sliding around. And then, yeah, we can just go from there. Now that we're waiting on those tops and bottoms to dry, we can go ahead and cut out these stilts out of a piece of solid cherry. So that's what we're gonna do next.
the blade a little bit, so, because I think that one's too deep. There's not enough support there to keep this from breaking off. It's not really bending, but I don't want that to be a problem. So I lowered the blade a little bit, so everything else will be that deep. That's another good reason to have an extra piece to be your trial piece. So these panels are dry enough to do the next step. To make the tolerances nice and tight, we are going to take about an eighth of an inch off total, so a sixteenth of an inch on every side, and we'll just have to know to make the final dimension or a little bit smaller to account for that. So I'm going to re-square these up on the table saw. All right, so now the next step is we're gonna build the solid cherry frame that goes around these pieces. And again, we're gonna make it out of three quarter inch thick solid cherry, but it's gonna be edge grain. So instead of like a picture frame where you would want the nice pretty face grain on the outside, we're gonna make it like this and just cut it shorter so it's gonna be edge grain. Quick lesson on wood. Wood expands and contracts along its width. So if you look at these growth rings, it's gonna pull and push apart this way during the year, not so much on the thickness. So if we have it standing like this, it's gonna grow and shrink vertically, which is fine. If it grows and shrinks like this, our corners would come apart during the year. It would shrink and grow this way, and that's not what you want. So that way the board will never get longer or any wider than what it is right now. All right, so we finished cutting out these outside border pieces, and while they look great, uh, I thought that I was gonna leave these a little long. Turns out, however much I added was almost exactly the length that they needed to be extra. So, um, instead of cutting new pieces, it looks like both of these panels in the same direction are about a 32nd of an inch too long. And you can tell that by squeezing these miters together and then at the end here, it looks right there in that corner that that's just a 32nd of an inch too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember that it's the long grain direction of these panels and we're going to shorten them by a 32nd of an inch at the table saw and creep up on the perfect fit and we'll be good to go. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so I only took like a 64th of an inch off in both of those pass, passes, so a 30 second total, and that really helps square everything together. That was nice, because I hate dealing with miters. I hate trying to chop them short with like a shooting board or something. It's just too tedious and it's too easy to get it wrong. I'd much rather slide something through my table saw where I know the fence is straight than to try and fix all the weird 45 degree angles. So, there we go, there's our top and bottom panels. Let's get them glued up. So we're just going to use regular old ratchet straps. They make super fancy clamps for this kind of thing, but I ain't got that kind of money. Just going to be using some ratchet straps. Hold it down. So the overall purpose is to display the bear uh, rather than the project. So we're really working around a bear rather than working around like a, a certain feature of wood or, wood. yeah. I pitched another design to the client that was more of an ornate box, but I really feel like the box just took too much away from the bear. So we're really gonna focus on clean lines and allowing the bear and the poem to kind of be the focus mm -hmm. and draw don't draw attention away from that with the project. 